Hi class, it's Professor Hollis here, and I wanted to talk for a minute about files and folders when it comes to building a website. So we briefly talked about having a root folder set up for every site that you create. And we also went in and unzipped all of the files for our Dreamweaver book. Um, so the, the book came with some files that you'll need to download, which are in the course guide. It's in the course guide module, and it's a zip folder. You can also download it from the Against the Clock website with your access code. But I just put them here um, for easy access. So download that file and unzip it. And then once you have it, unzipped, you're going to need to go through and unzip all of the folders inside of it as well. This is probably the easiest way to go about doing it, um, is just double clicking on all the zip files. So once you have those unzipped, these are going to be your root folders throughout this course. Um, so every time you start a new chapter or a new project, you're going to use one of these as your root folder and the book is going to tell you which one you need. The first one we used was Interface DW and then inside of that we chose the SF Arts folder. Okay, So this became our root folder and inside our root folder is where we want to contain everything that goes with our website. Okay, So we have our HTML files in here which are our actual pages. We have our styling, which is a CSS document. And then inside of your root folder, you should always have a folder that contains your images. And uh, what you'll notice about the file naming system in here is that all of the letters are lowercase. So when you're naming files, you don't want any uppercase letters and you don't want any spaces. And the reason for that is that it makes it easier and more accessible for lots of different browsers and platforms across the globe. Okay, um, So you have to follow these rules when you're doing web design. It's just a common kind of courteous rule um, that, that we follow, that we're using all lowercase letters and no spaces. Otherwise, your website won't work properly when you put it onto a server and somebody tries to view it on their computer, okay? So notice that it, in the way that these are named, in place of a space, they put a dash, so you can do that. Or you can do what's um, called the capital method, where in place of a space, you would use a capital letter for the second word. Okay, so the first word would all be lowercase, you don't put the space, and then you use a capital, single capital letter for the second word, okay? I prefer the dash method um, for spaces, but sometimes you'll see some files that are named like this as well, okay? So that's kind of your typical um, guidelines to follow with naming files. Um, Let's say, for example, this is your um, this is your site files. But let's say we wanted to create our own new website. Okay, at that point, we would go in and make a new folder, and we would call it whatever our website's going to be. So if it's um, if it's called portfolio, I would just do all lowercase. And call it portfolio okay and then inside that is where we're going to place all our files related to that particular website okay so if you need to add more to this main um, folder you can but primarily when we're using the textbook we're going to be using um, sites that are already made 